Hey guys, welcome back. Lucian here with you again, like always, back for another episode of the Modded Survival Island. So, I am recording back to back from last episode, so I haven't seen any comments if there were any on that. But last episode, we uh, spent quite a few hours working on upgrading tool sets and armors and all that kind of good stuff. <clears throat> so, today, I um, want to work on logistics and. It's like you are full now. Scuba tank. Uh, this one did work out very good. Put on the scuba tank, turned it on, put it on a gas mask, and you can float down there. And I was able to get <clears throat> um, two essence berry bushes. Yeah, two essence berry bushes that were um, that the quarry doesn't pick up. So, what we're going to work on today is, like I said, logistics. <clears throat> now. I had talked about that I had really wanted to play with the inventory panel from Ender.io and I spent a whole lot of time upgrading the pack just or the mod just to get that done but um, that witch the witch we need for it, I'll remind you <clears throat> this witch right here is what's holding me back because otherwise I have all the other pieces and parts that I can make this except for that witch and I believe the only way to get a witch is probably to turn off all the lights and hope for a random spawn or go to the deep dark. Both of them have their uh, issues, I should say. What is that? Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Neat. Alright, so what we're going to do is I got a kind of a cool build idea. Now, this is not going to be a very functional well I guess it'll be functional but not gonna be very it's gonna be more fun than anything else so let's grab a few lasers um, two probably will be okay uh, assembly table does this need a gear yeah it does I thought it might gear and Assembly table. Used up quite a bit of our diamonds. I guess we can make one more laser. We'll put that diamond back in the chest. Actually, I'm gonna no, maybe. Let's put it back. So I got 55 diamonds, so I need to start growing diamonds. Because my goal is to have that one quarry that I just took down. That's gonna get us sustained until we can finish growing basically grow everything we need so now let's get this hooked up some power and grab a chest um, where do we have a chest we should have a chest in here yep we do I got some pipe grab some redstone grab maybe some iron maybe a little bit of gold yeah <clears throat> and I'm just gonna put this from up here for I guess the time being. We'll just stretch some. Oh, probably need to go up a little bit. And there we go. All the way to the ground. Okay. So maybe one, two, three? <clears throat> so now we got a bell craft later set. Now one reason I want to do that is because I want to get into logistics pipes. And I found a cool build that what we can do that it just was I was just toying around in creative, make sure it worked, and it did. But what I'm gonna have a logistics network to hook up our drawers. That way I can request items from the drawers up here into my little room until we can get AE so instead of me having to jump back down there and go over and get them. So what we're going to need is I did go into the config and have gotten rid of the power requirements because that's just what I wanted to do. So what we're going to need is some basic logistics pipes. So let's get some golden chipsets. Let's do four. So that's going to take a little bit of time, I imagine. Red, yellow, green, 
come on blue and we're at blue so that's gonna craft up and that should pop right into the chest now let's go do let's go ahead and go turn the power back on because that's gonna drain power actually not that bad but I'm just going to flick it on um, we are totally good for power look at that's 237 saplings and 86 stacks of apples and these furnace generators 395 stacks there so we are definitely good on power that tree farm um, is working just fine so we'll let that work so I'm gonna start laying out this build and kind of figuring out what we need um, we're gonna need some of course some basic logistics pipes we probably still have some of these diamond ones floating around a little bit um, we're running a request so that's gonna be looks like well, I just have to make an iron gear which ain't no big deal um, provider I said provider supplier I've already forgotten I'm gonna have to jump back over creative to see what I was doing well let's uh, do that just take you with me and we'll go jump over to creative because I had to test it out to see which one it was okay it is the provider pipe provider okay could remember if it's provided or supplier I always get those two confused I should write that down provider where's my pen damn pen button provider look like I had a sharpie alright so we need a provider pipe so we got the request and the provider so that's going to again need another golden chip set which we got that working um, so cool so we might actually make a few of these pretty neat um, so what I'm going to do is all these cool stuff logistics bike was such a cool mod back in the day you know it just like revolutionized sorting and whatever so that's going to take a little bit of time um, but they're all blued out so they're getting the power they need but just kind of a waiting game so I guess I'll be back in a few minutes um, maybe go dig a tunnel or start making up a few things and can hear this guy running down here but good we're keeping up on power so be back in a minute alright so I crafted up four golden chip sets I just threw a few more in actually so let's see what kind of a mess we can make with logistics pipes so that's all I got available for right now is 24 basic logistics pipes which is not bad. So what I want to do is next we have to get a provider pipe. I wrote it down. Provider. Provider. And can grab another torch. You. 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 Provider logistics pipe. Okay, great. So when I dug out a little tunnel, and we are going to see what kind of mess we can make. In fact, I may want to get all these pieces crafted up first before I before I make a mess. Or you know, what? I got an idea. Let's grab a chest, and what we'll do is I'll just break this right here and put that there. So everything coming from the tree farm will go into this thing before I make a huge gigantic mess. All right, so provider logistics pipe going right on the bottom of the storage drawer controller. And we're going to pipe this around. Okay. And remember we have to have a logistics pipe, basic logistics pipes at every junction every um, time I make a connection so that's there now give me that okay now we go 
down here, I'm probably going to need some more my glass. Probably need a few more of these. So now, the logistics pipe junction is now brought into here. So this is where it's going to get really screwed up and complex. So I need to put a put one there. Put one there. So yeah, this is going to be a little bit tricky, but I'm going to try to get this all fixed up and make it work right. So give me a second because I'm not sure I'm going to be filling around with this for more time than I want to, but I'll get it working. Promise. So we'll be back in just a second. All right, we're back. So let's go through it in theory how it should work. So provider pipe will give access to the request logistic pipes for everything that's in this storage drawer system. Comes in here, it's going to hit this basic logistics pipes, which one it's going to provide some smart to the system. Now this side is going to feed in from the tree farm. Once the tree farm, um, once it hits that pipe, then let's just check our chest. We're okay. That will actually get some intelligence too. So down here, on the other side of this pipe, we got a basic logistics pipes at this T junction. We have this one requesting apples, this one requesting imp uh, sand, right? Sand, sand, yep. And another one at this intersection right here, this one was requesting apple saplings. We go up and around. That intersection or that connection point shouldn't matter. Up here we have a logistics part mark two that's provided us two cards, which we have an item sync saying wood and a provider, so it'll actually provide oak to the system as we need it. And then it uh, just put uh, basic logistics pipes here just because um, they do act like a gold pipe and they can speed things up and then we have everything being sent upstairs to right about here which I have this coming so let's do some oh I got a crafting table let's go say let's do some floor crafting there which should be our request logistics pipe which should go right here and if this works Wow I can see everything in my network and let's get rid of that so let's say I want um, let's sort by size going down yes that's what I want um, unfortunately it shows me like these nuggets but I guess name ID well, I mean, I guess that's not horrible. So let's just say if I need one piece of iron, it may take a minute to find its way all the way up here. Okay, so that's my next problem, is getting that. However, not a huge problem. What we'll do is we'll just stick this request logistic pipe here and then maybe what I'll do oh, it popped out over here um, hmm you know what I could do what I could do oop oop geez geez stop breaking stuff well that piece of glass is gone Maybe if I stick it here, let's try that again. Let's we'll see if I need a piece of lapis. Excellent. So that's going to be kind of a double function chest. It'll be able to grab these, which I'm, this is not going to stay here forever. That's This is just temporary just to get our system up and going that'll work as well. So it'll just kind of pipe in there. So that is, that worked a whole lot better than 
what I thought I was going to. Now, before we get all celebratory yet, let's make sure this nastiness system right here is going to work. Which, if anything's going to break, it's going to be this part, because it's a whole lot more complex. When it hit that pipe, it should speed up. There it is. Okay, let's see if we can beat it downstairs. There's that glass. Let's see if anything's breaking. Hmm, looks like the saplings. Saplings is. So maybe, maybe because it's at an intersection. I wonder if that's the issue. So let's try. Let's try that. Let's see if that fixes anything. what we can do so the wood seems to be going okay let's get rid of that Have to go on top. Hmm. Okay, let's do it on top then. So this is a that I knew I didn't know how well the system is going to work. So let's because the number doesn't seem to have gone up. Let's do that there. And get rid of that now. Why you know? Why you know work? All right. Well, let me. This is working. Five five four five. Five five four seven. So then that's routing to the back. Okay. Well, let me see if I can figure out what my mistake is here. So I'll be back in just a minute. Well, with a minor tweak, I just put a piece of cobblestone there and put this one as the requesting pipe and you can see the numbers are going up so I don't know it's not really a true fix to this but it is a fix nonetheless so everything is now routing the correct way so we can watch all the numbers on the barrels go up as they're getting more stuff in them Okay, cool. So that's that wasn't that broken. And this is pretty not broken too. So let's grab those. I didn't Did I mean to do that? I don't remember. Um throw all the apples away. One step apples to eat. And let's get a few more things. So now this, we can cover this up. Is this system is not super fast. Maybe I can put a few gold pipes in there. See if I have any. Just to try to speed it up just a touch.
because this is where it's probably getting slow right here between these these points all right so we can cover this back up because this is now a complete system cool now let's work on the rest of this so I got some overflow chest just some junk chest and let's do a little bit of consolidating to get those fixed up so let me work out what I want to do for that and I will see you in a second alright so next part of this problem we're going to fix is I'm gonna go ooh, that did not work oh no redstone Got two item sync modules, and I have two provider modules. And next, we need some chassis pipes, which are what's the recipe? Mark two. Um, we'll just do that with. I'm gonna be short one iron. Short one iron. Okay, so we have that, 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 and next thing I'm waiting on is, oh, what am I waiting on next? Um, hmm, hmm. Well, let's just, let's just fix this part first. Okay, so down here, I put down two iron, or two diamond chests. And they are going to act as our new default route chest. So we'll go here, here. And we're going to do provider and item sync. And then we're going to say, yes, this is the default route. Over here, provider. Can't shift click. And default route. So these two chests will be now take a place of all those overflow chests. So I can both request out of it with the provider and it will be the default route. The default route means just if it doesn't have another valid inventory, this is where it goes. So I'll have two default route chests and I have up here, I'm waiting for one more chip set, I believe, and then we're gonna have a extraction model module. Which I don't think there's a straight up pipe for. No, it does not. There is a card though. Um, quick sort, we don't want an extractor module. So that's just an iron chip set. What do we have any more iron? Which we should have one more cooking. There it is. I'll have to make another card, which I thought I was good for cards, but I guess not. Some lapis. So we need one. Those and a couple lapis. And I need a little bit more iron. Five. That should be enough. So we'll do you. And Come on. You and I believe if we do that, it will make it advanced. And one here. That will make us a mark two. I only needed a mark one, but whatever. So you go here. You go here. Sneaky. Oh, I ain't worried about that. Included, excluded. Okay. So now that will pull out of here, goes into the network, looks like a valid inventory. If there's not a valid inventory, that'll send to the default route. So let's test this. I'm going to put sand and dirt in there, which it should be sucking out. Did I mess up? Did I need a quick sort? Hmm. Hmm, 
I guess that did not work like I wanted it. Okay. Apparently I am rusty with my logistics pipes. But I have another solution. So let me give me give me a second, let me get it fixed. Alright guys, so last step for finishing up here, I had to make an integration table. I guess Buildcraft has changed a little bit from what I remember. Now did it go over here? Where did it pop out to? Oh no. Where are you, our target gate? Okay. Where are you? Well, that's kind of weird. Not in my inventory. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I guess this has changed a little bit. So you actually need an integration table to make uh, our target gates, and there's a couple other cool gates that you make. It's kind of really actually pretty neat. So I made a basic gate with a autarkic pulsar, which is basically making a gate here, and then just adding the pulsating chipset here, and it kind of combines them two. It actually went pretty quick, the uh, combining. So what I'll do is grab a should have a regular wooden transport pipe over here, which I do. And is this a nope. So what I'll do is put this here. Set that gate. Um Actually, I should do it something like this. So, so items in the inventory, we will put out an energy pulsar. So this will basically be my dump chest. So as I dump things in here, they will get sent into the network. And I'll just put it right here, actually. And then I'll come in here, I'll look to the network. Once it hits this point right here, as kind of... Uh, figuring out what to do. So if I put this dirt in here, it should start extracting out. Well, good ball there. Well, what's going on here? Why is it not connected? Not connected or something? Alright. Kind of weird. Let's try that again. Items inventory. Energy pulsar. Okay, there we go. I just had the gate on the wrong side. I had it on the top and it wasn't doing right. So as soon as it comes to this point, it should look for a valid inventory, which the default route is going to be as valid inventory. So that is now a complete system. So as I get back from whatever I'm doing, walk in here, dump everything in the, the dump chest, and it will sort itself out. Now what I can do even further is grab this and just do something like like that. And that I'll slowly empty out all the inventory and put it where it needs to go. Very cool. I love it. So that will finish this. Um, let me put everything back that doesn't you don't need to go there. You have a valid inventory. That way I can put it back over here into the uh, storage drawers, but that'll be it for this build. Again, it's not a super awesome build, but it's kind of a, it was kind of a fun build. Playing with logistics pipes and um, that thing scared me. I thought it was a spider. Em this should be emptying out. And then I'll just keep rotating chest out until 
everything's here. What you have a place for, you have a home for. And now if I go back up here, like if I type in Cory, I should be able to request that Cory. Awesome. Love it. Okay, guys, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the little build. Let's see what kind of other stuff we can get into in the next episode. What's wrong? Get out of here. If you don't want to play nice with the rest of the dirt. I'll see you guys soon.